For more on this, let's bring in ARK Invest Chief Futurist, Brett Winton, Fast Money's favorite futurist. Brett, great to have you with us. Great to be there. The only one we know, actually. Um, <laughs> just, but just to be clear, uh, for Amazon, when we think about what Amazon does already, I mean, it knows what books I want to read. It knows, you know, what food I like to eat, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, in, in, on some levels, isn't AI already being implemented? What is the difference between what, is, what Amazon is doing now with what they will employ? Well, I, I think that this is more speaks to how Amazon's front end experience is, is broken and, and perhaps profoundly broken because of the way they incorporate kind of third party products onto their platform. I think Amazon's um, platform, it, it has a lot of legacy debt to how the business has evolved. And so it's natural that they try to apply new language models to helping user discovery. I think through their smart speaker networks, that's maybe been a more a promising way they, they can deliver users to products that they want to buy. And every company is going to have to adapt to AI. It, it's funny, Dan, to hear you talking about, oh, this is this is hype or a near-term hype cycle. Our belief is that there's going to be upwards of $90 trillion that accrues to uh, the enterprise value of AI software companies, broadly speaking. Uh, and, and to give you a sense of that scale, the current equity markets are on the order of $100 trillion. So there's a huge business value opportunity that's going to be um, kind of accommodated over the course of this business cycle. Now, is Amazon, because it announces a large language model at its front end, going to take advantage of that? Oh, probably not. It's actually, you know, maybe a legacy infrastructure that they have that they need to upgrade to stay competitive with nimble competitors. $90 trillion. But how much is destroyed, Brett? On the other side of it, I mean, I'm just curious because on the on the face of it, it sounds like an amazing thing that Amazon's going to be doing this. But at the same time, if you think about how Amazon is working right now, when you search for something, you know, the knock on Amazon in recent years is that it delivers a lot of sp sponsored content, um, products you may not necessarily want, but they pay for the advertising. How does that work when you're doing generative AI? Do we know enough yet to know that this will be as profitable for Amazon as its current business model? I mean, the short answer is no, we don't. And and that's part of the reason why I'm surprised that the shares rally on the news, because they do have an advertising business and companies are basically uh, merchants jockeying to appear higher on their search rankings and, and using a large language model to deliver end users to products could break that and perhaps for profoundly. Uh, Google faces the exact same dilemma. I think the the it's interesting to me that these large you know, mega cap tech companies have rallied over the course of the last few months when it seems to me that the, the likely output of AI is to enable their smaller and more nimble competitors to to pick to, you know, uh, nibble at their heels while they use these technologies to try to beat each other over the head. Uh, and so it's not clear to me that it accrues to any of the mega cap tech companies benefit, despite what the market seems to be uh, embedding. Brett, so that's my question. Why is why this announcement from Amazon today? I mean, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and, and I, I kind of agree with what you're saying. We certainly argued cynically um, that AI is is something that's already like Amazon didn't just start investing here. Google, you know. Uh, so, w what are they all? Do why are they doing? Is this as simple as just understanding kind of what moves stocks, or is there more going on here? I mean, sometimes it could be that, that the leadership team believes that their employees are not moving quickly enough to deploy technology. And so it's a way to prod the internal employee base that this is something we need to take seriously. And we know it's going to disrupt existing business lines. And, and we as an organization need to move more quickly. You know, I can't speak to exactly why you know Amazon announces this now. I, I can say that in, across the board, enterprises are taking up AI very quickly because they see very clear ROI cases. And, and it's not just in these big tech companies that it's happening. This is accelerating every um, technology across every sector. And, and I think business leaders or savvy business leaders know they need to move quickly because or else they're going to uh, fall behind because of the rapidity of the pace of change here. It sounds like, Brett, that what you're saying is that if you want to play AI, if you want to invest in AI, Investing in the five biggest technology companies in the United States, that's not the way to go right now. Yeah, I think I think it actually uh, imperils each of their business models is, is imperiled by a, in a unique way. 
Apple has uh, privacy issues that prevents it from taking data from users. Google has their entire search franchise that's potentially put at risk. Google's using it to try to wound Microsoft and its Office 365 product. And here, Amazon AI, if anything, is likely to empower a lot of independent merchants to operate outside of Amazon's platform and eat away at the logistics advantage they have in, in low-cost delivery uh, by enabling drone delivery from outside vendors and, and really producing point-to-point -point mobility for people. In the meantime, you just mentioned Tesla and, and Elon Musk. Hey, you know, Tesla has the largest deployed fleet of robots in the world. Uh, if you look at Amazon's robot fleet for its distribution centers, they have roughly 3,000 uh, robots per employee. Tesla, if you if you look at the, their vehicles, they have 300,000 per employee in terms of deployed robots. And so mm -hmm. I think that there's, yeah, there's interesting in other ways to play this.